Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is 8051 microcontroller feature. Intel introduced 8051 in 1981 and later on the, all the successors of 8051 are known as the 8051 family or MCS51. 8051 is available in the market in 40 pin DIP. DIP stands for dual inline package. So earlier 8051 was manufactured, fabricated using complementary metal oxide silicon semiconductor and later it was replaced by the N channel metal oxide silicon semiconductor and MOS because of the speed. The N channel metal oxide semiconductor and MOS was offering very good speed compared to CMOS and that twice later with the development in the technology, the CMOS were replaced by the NMOS. HL51 is having 8 bit closer, 8 bit ALU, so it is capable to perform 8 bit arithmetic and logical operations at a time. So it can process 8 bit of data. So, why HL51 is so popular? It is said that H051 is the most long lived microcontroller till date. Why so? Features gives the answer to this question. So, we will see the features of H051 in today's video. So, first feature of H051 microcontroller is it is having register A and B. H051 is having 34 general purpose resistors out of 34 resistors 32 resistors are arranged in four resistor bands and in each resistor band there are eight resistors r0 to r7 so likewise there are 32 resistors in resistors band and uh, other two registers are register A and B. Register A and B are very helpful and uh, useful in performing arithmetic and logical operation. A is the accumulator in which one of the operand is stored and after arithmetic and logical operation, the result is also stored in register A which is accumulator. Resistor B is also a general purpose resistor which is used to perform multiplication and division operation only. So when 8051 wants to perform multiplication and division operation, resistor B is used. And how resistor B is used in other multiplication and division operation, we will see it later in the later videos. So these are the data registers. Register A and register B. Both are 8 bit register. 8051 is having 16 bit program counter and data pointer register. Program counter is PC and data pointer register is DPTR. Both are known as the address registers. What do you mean by address register? Basically, so, gram counter and DPTR are used to store address, which will ultimately point to a data which is stored in a memory location. So, both are address register and they are 16 bit register. But we know the program counter points to a location from where instructions will be fetched and will be executed by the microcontroller. So, program counter points to memory location from where the instructions are fetched, whereas data pointer is pointing to a memory location from where data is fetched. And we can change the content of the DPTR. So, when microcontroller is reset, the program counter is reset to all zeros, which is the starting memory location. But we can change the content of DPTR. The problem is the DPTR is a 16 bit register, but H051 is a 8 bit 
microcontroller. So at the time it can perform only 8-bit operation. So it requires two machine cycle. That's why DPTR is divided into half, two halves, DPH and DPL. Both are 8-bit register and combinedly it becomes a DPTR which is a 16-bit register and by performing, by changing the content of a DPH and DPL, uh, we can alter the content of DPTR. H051 is having 8-bit program status word. What is the use of program status word? So when H051 performs any arithmetic and logical operations, the status of that operation is reflected in various flags which are available in program status word. So those flags can be set or reset. So program status word is also known as the flag register. So what kind of flags flag register consists of? It consists of parity flag, overflow flag, then there are two bits RS1, RS0 which are used to select register bands. As I said there are four register bands so at a time only one register bank is selected and the which register bank is selected is depends upon the status of these two pins. Then there is a F0 is the user flag. Microcontroller H051 is having two user flag. One user flag F0 which is available in PSW and another user flag is there in PCON register. So those user flag can be set and reset by the users and which can be used in program. Then there is an auxiliary carry flag and carry flag. H051 is having internal ROM of 4 p The <coughs> predecessor of H051, H0331, was having no inbuilt ROM, on chip ROM. And the successor of H051, which is H751, which is having keep ROM. Erasable programmable read only memory. So H051 is having 4K of internal ROM wherein programs are burned, programs are permanently stored according to application. So when you are designing small embedded system, 4K ROM is very good enough. And in that ROM, you can store the program which will handle, which will uh, function for the application. So size of internal ROM is 4K and to access the 4K RAM we require 12 bits. How 12 bits? So 1KB requires 10 address line and the upper 4KB requires only 2 address lines. So we can divide the KB requires 10 address lines and 4 require 2 address lines. So totally we require 12 bits to address internal 4K ROM. So address is this. So address is provided by the program counter which is a 16 bit. Out of 16 bits only uh, least 12 bits are used to point out the memory in 4K ROM. Unless until we use an external ROM, those higher bits, higher level is not used. So at this range for 4K ROM is 00000020FFF. So as you can see there are three F. So basically it is changing from 0002FFF, three zeros to three F. Next, H051 is having internal RAM of 128 bytes and that 128 byte is divided into three sections. So 128 byte can be at least using 7 bits and accordingly its at least range starts from 0 to 7M. 
So in binary form, you can see uh, this is the address of the internal RAM. So internal RAM is divided into three sections. 4K register bank. The size of register bank is a first section. The size of register bank is 32, 32 bytes. Because there are four register bank and each register bank is having eight registers. So eight into four, 32 bytes. The size of first section is 32 bytes. Then there is a 16 byte of a bit addressable memory. The second section is the 16 bytes of bit addressable memory. And later, the bigger chunk of memory is the general purpose and data memory area where you can save your data or it consists of another resistance. Then H the 5 is having four ports. So we know H the 5 is available in 40 pins. So out of 40 pins, 32 pins are arranged as a four 8-bit ports. Those ports are P0, P1, P2, P3. So all ports are 8 bit and each port is having its respective 8 bit starting from like for example P0 is having P0.0 to P0.7. Likewise each port is having their respective 8 bits. So those ports can be configured as an input port or as an output port. So when any port is configured as an input port, the port can take the data. The port can take the input from the external units. When any port is configured as an output port, it can send data to the external device. Then H051 is having two 16-bit timer or counter which is T0 and T1. So H051 is having T0 and T1 which is which can be acted as a timer or a counter. So both T0 and T1 are the 16-bit register. So timer is basically used to generate a delay. It is used to generate a delay between two events. So after occurrence of first event, you can generate a delay and then you can make sure that second event should occur after this delay. And counter is basically used to count the number of pulses of any signal which is provided in to the microcontroller. But again, microcontroller is 8-bit and both the timers are 16 bit so according to delay, we have to change the content of T0 or T1. So obviously, we need to alter the content of T0 and T1 timer registers. And for that purpose only, both the timer registers are uh, divided into two parts. So T0 is divided into TH0 and TL0, both are 8-bit. T T1 timer is divided into TH1 and TL1, both are 8 bit and likewise they can be controlled by the microcontroller or their values can be changed very easily since they are 8 bit now and combinedly they are known as T0 or T1. Again, H051 is also having 8 bit serial buffer SPUF. It supports full duplex serial data receiver and transmitter. It means that full duplex means that it can receive as well as transmit the data same time. For that purpose, there are two pins, TXT and RXT. And for receiving and transmitting the data, SPUF or serial buffer is used, which is 8-bit resistor. Then H051 is having two external and three internal interrupt sources. So interrupt sources are the signals which are generated by any component or a device when that component or a device seeking attention of microcontroller. 
when that component or device wants surface from the microcontroller, it generates an integer. So likewise, in the microcontroller itself, 5 one there are two external and three internal interrupt sources. External interrupt sources are INT0, INT1, which are interrupt 0 and interrupt 1, which are the actual pins. So through this pin, we can provide external interrupt. Internal interrupt sources are nothing but the timer 0, timer 1 and serial communication interrupts. When timer 0, timer 1 and serial communication in, is in progress, that time they generate an interrupt to the microcontroller when specific condition occurs. So those interrupts are handled by the microcontroller. Again, 8051 is having on chip clock oscillator whose function is to provide the frequency for the microcontroller and synchronize all the operations of the microcontroller. Again, it is having many control registers like TCON, TMOD, SCON, PCON, IP, and I. So these control registers are used to control many operations of 8051. So if you like the video, subscribe the channel.